Let's do another take and then take five. American English in Minutes, lesson number 63. Take has so many uses. If you watched videos 26 and 33, you already learned or reviewed some of them. Let's take a minute to look at even more. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Ready? Don't worry. We won't go too fast. We'll take our time. Take note and take notes. For a student, one of the most common expressions is take notes. Write down the important things your class instructor says. Sometimes when we talk, we say take note, meaning pay attention or bear something in mind. Notice the craftsmanship on this wooden staircase. Take note of the detailed carving here. If people are starting to take note of someone or something, they're becoming aware of this person or trend. Hopefully, intermediate level English language learners are starting to take note of American English in Minutes videos. Take this for example. When we want to discuss an example, we throw one out there by saying take mm, for example. You might say, some people live beyond their means. Take my neighbor, for example. After he lost his job, he bought a boat. How could he afford it at that point? But he bought it anyway. There is a famous comedian's joke in America. Take my wife, please. You start off thinking he's giving her as an example of someone who acts a certain way. But then he means, come take her away because I don't want her. I didn't say it was a nice joke, just famous. Take off and put on with clothing, jewelry, a pair of glasses, but a cover that goes over something. We take it off and put it back on. In many cultures, you always take your shoes off in the house. Many, if not most, Americans leave their shoes on inside. Remember, this is a phrasal verb that can separate. I took my coat off. I took off my coat. Both ways are fine. When you use the pronoun, it must be in the middle. I took my shoes off. I took them off. Never, I took off them. Take five and take a victory lap. If someone tells a crew or team to take five, it means take a five minute break. If you're making a movie, the person with the clapboard might announce take five, meaning it's the fifth attempt at doing the scene. In the sport of car racing, the winner will take a victory lap, drive around the track one more time to celebrate. We use this expression, take a victory lap, to mean you want people to see how proud you are of your accomplishment. Sometimes this is called a lap of honor in sports. Take a few minutes. Why not take a few minutes to check out some more American English in Minutes? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and enjoy more videos.